Robert's that guy you met today. If we haven't met, go ahead and scroll through my YouTube videos and let's get to know each other. I'm coming to you once again from the Philippines here with Wifey, of course. And, um, you know, we've been here, what, 16 days now? Yeah. Something like that. And we have had some outstanding food, a variety of food, but there is one food in particular that when I saw it, it fascinated me like nothing else that we've eaten. And what is that? People. Shakey's Pizza. Guys, Shakey's Pizza, that famous uh, pizza chain from the 80s, is alive and well here in the Philippines. I cannot believe that. We're here at Shakey's Pizza. Ha! Shakey's YouTube. Shakey's. I can't believe. Oh. Thank you, air conditioning. Oh boy. You're hungry. I'm hot. You're hungry, hot. <laughs> You're sweating a little bit. You're wearing black, which was an interesting decision. The pizza. Mmm. So you have a couple different sizes. The regular looks like, uh, well, it's eight inches. That's what it says there. Good for one or two people. I think that's probably what we're gonna end up doing. But the monster, <laughs> 18 inches. I mean, that's about the size of a fatty's pizza. It's just a little bit bigger than the fatty's pizza. So their monster is really more of just what we would expect to be a large, I think, at home. Can't go wrong with a good old cheese stick. Well, actually, that's a lie. You can go very wrong with a mm. cheese stick. I'm kind of disappointed they don't have cheesy bread. Because I yeah. prefer cheesy bread. There's no cheesy bread or breadsticks, which is surprising, but there's got to be a reason for that. That's sweet, isn't it? That sauce? Is it sweet? I went for it and I was like, nope. I bet it's sweet down the hatch. <laughs> yeah, it's sweet. It doesn't really taste like marinara. It's more like a... Like a thin ketchup that's a little bit sweetened. It's a good cheese stick though. And a milkshake just showed up. <laughs> this is a surprise item. You better hop. What? There's no straw. I don't know how they expect me to eat it. Oh. Oh, you need a long spoon. Well, you just have to tip the glass a little bit. She did warn you about no straws though. I don't care. I just want some <laughs> You just want chocolate? Wings, wifey. Wings. I like how they serve you with like the wings like this. In America, I've never seen this. They just serve you the flats. You like the little flapper on the end there? Mm -hmm. All right, Philippines. Let's see what your wings do. Okay. Not bad at all. That's as good as any wing I've had at home. Like a basic wing. All right. The star of the show has arrived. The pizza. It brings back a childhood. You know, I don't really remember. <laughs> it's a thin, crispy crust. Down the hatch. Hmm. It's definitely a proper piece of pizza. The flavor of the pepperoni isn't like what I'm used to, though. Don't get me wrong. The pepperoni is great. But it is a different flavor. It's a lot, lot, like, a lot more smoky than what I would be used to. But... I wouldn't say that's a bad thing at all. It appears that the default crust style here is thin because in the menu it looked like they had like regular uh, like a pan crust. But this is fine. This is great. It's definitely normal pizza. <laughs> I mean of our three encounters with pizza that we've had here I'd say this is definitely the best. <laughs> it is different from America, but I mean, I mean, well, that's to be expected. <laughs> and just like that YouTube, it's a bloodbath. So, 
Shakey's Pizza, alive and well here in the Philippines. No breadsticks, which is a little on the odd side, but that's fine. Maybe they just don't like breadsticks here. It's all right. And uh, pizza, it's okay, but it is very different from home. We'll talk about pricing here in just a second, but uh, I will say the thing that really surprised me the most here were the wings. Those were actually proper wings. And I also liked how they were cooked until they were like crispy on the outside, which is always a plus for me. Some places they really skimp on the cooking. Like, I want you to almost burn them things. I've had better buffalo sauce, but I thought that whatever, whatever rendition of buffalo sauce that was, I enjoyed it. And they weren't spicy at all, which was surprising. I figured there would have been a little bit. All right. So, total for that was uh, just under $20. It was like 949 pesos. And uh, we are walking back in the general direction of the house there. Let's just see what we come across while we do it. And next up, <laughs> this has been like really surprising me like army navy burger and burrito like what's the what's the army navy part is what i'm trying to figure out who's maybe, army navy maybe it's sponsored by our army i don't know i don't know but we're gonna go in here and i'm, I'm gonna try something so essentially the history of this place is it's modeled after um like u.s army barracks which i guess there was quite a bit of that going on here at some point in the past and uh one of the things that would happen in the uh, rounded top style building is that you would eat. So it's kind of like a mess hall theme to it. The tables are made to look like they're metal on the top and it's all like American style food. It's actually pretty neat, it's pretty neat. It's an interesting theme going on in here. So we ordered a burger, just their sandwich. their basic burger and then a chicken sandwich for your sister you know the other thing that I really liked about this place is that when you get to go orders they package them up so nicely for you like uh, if you go back in the vlogs the other day uh, we got a to-go order for wifey from a Piri Piri chicken place and they wrapped the thing up like a little present it had a little string around it and a bow here the bag is folded over perfectly and they put a little thing on that to hold it shut for you it's the little things, people. It's the little things. It's got a good little weight to it, too. That actually, feel, a, feel the weight on that. Wow, look at that. Top, looks like there's some mayo and ketchup at the bottom, and then uh, lettuce, tomato, onions. All right, it's a good sized burger, down the hatch. That's actually all right. Lots of real flavor going on there. Um, the mayo that they put on there is a little bit sweet. Like I think that's just kind of the style of mayo that they go with here, but it's fine. It kind of all works together. The meat though, like I've seen here before, is a different texture, but the texture is very different, but the taste is exactly what I would expect from a good burger. That's a win. All right, there was a little quick rainstorm that we just waited out, and uh, I just took a couple bites of that burger. I think I'm gonna finish that up later. We're about to walk over to the house. The wifey's feeling a little fatigued. Probably the itis from all that food we just ate, because we just ate a lot. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, do all the things, and then click that bell so you stay on top of this entire travel series here in the Philippines. Wifey, should they click the button? Yes, always. What's going to happen if they don't? They have to click it. Or? They don't want to find us. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.